Hello again, this is uh, Pastor Zachariah, um, recording another song for my series called Songs of Faith. Uh, today I'm going to be recording a kind of an old hymn. Um, uh, it's been played many, many, many different times. It's called uh, Will the Circle Be Unbroken? And the version that I'm going to be singing today, uh, the verses... Um, make it clear what the circle is we're talking about. Uh, the verses are about <clears throat> someone um, mourning that their mother has died. And so the the verses kind of go through this um, process of the hearse coming and taking a, their mother away um, and following behind and burying them and being home alone and um, nothing being the same. And then this, the chorus, of course, is, uh, Will the circle be unbroken? By and by, Lord, by and by. There's a better world, or there's a better home awaiting, in the sky, Lord, in the sky. So it's kind of a song of lament of when, when will this cycle and circle of death be done and complete and finished? Uh, the hope that we have as Christians is that uh, Jesus has broken that circle already, uh, that death, uh, the power of death has been destroyed. But also, uh, Jesus' ministry encourages us to break cycles of, of violence and death and hatred also. Um, a common uh, teaching of Jesus is, uh, if someone strikes you on the cheek, uh, turn the other cheek. Uh, and and it seems like a, like a weak response uh, if somebody hits you, to let them hit you again. Um, but what Jesus is encouraging his disciples here isn't just, you know, roll over and let people hit you. Um, but Jesus is saying, the circle of violence needs to end with you. If you're going to follow me, you can't be one who continues to perpetuate the, these kinds of circles. Um, lots of movies today... Uh, highlight this, this cycle, this circle of violence that uh, there's a very popular movie that came out a couple of years ago called uh, Taken, and the movie is this, this man's daughter is taken from him, um, and he is kind of like some assassin figure, and he goes on a, a killing spree rampage uh, to get his daughter back, and, and the story is kind of saying... Uh, that this this kind of violence is okay, it's justifiable, that uh, you can go and kill, you know, 60 people to get your daughter back. And that's, it's very similar to a lot of movies today, this idea of redemptive violence and, and perpetuating this circle. Uh, and it continues even across countries and, and tribes and people groups too, this idea that, well, you know, you've hurt me so now I need to hurt you and your family and then oh well you hurt my family so now I need to hurt you and your city or, uh, and it just continues to grow and steamroll and, and Jesus teaches his followers to be ones that end that kind of cycle and say this this circle and cycle of death will end with me uh, and that's what Jesus has done through his death on the cross with this cycle and circle of death, uh, that it ends with Jesus, and that we are promised that we will have life uh, even after death. So I sing the song today, uh, kind of this the song of lament and crying out, like, when is this going to happen? When am I going to experience this this circle being broken? Um, and longing for that day when we can live at peace and love with one another. Uh, so I invite you to listen. Will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by. There's a better home waiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. I was standing by my 
my window on a cold and cloudy day when I saw that earth come rolling for to carry my mother away will the circle be unbroken by and by Lord by and by there's a better Undertaker, Undertaker, please drive slow for this body that's a rolling. Lord, I hate to see her go. Will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by? There's a better home. Close behind her, try to hold up and be brave, but I could not hide my sorrow when they laid her in the grave. Will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by? There's a better home. My home was lonely, now my mother, she was gone. All my brothers, sisters crying, what a home so sad and old.